Here come the two teams now. Fierce rivals in Italy, Juventus and Inter now meet in China at the International Champions Cup. The Derby d'Italia on the... Even he had to smile after being locked by Harry Kane from the halfway line. There's no Aaron Ramsey, despite being told that he's leaving. Mario Cardi is also on his way out, but he's back at their Milan training base. Just been one of Europe's most consistent goalkeepers in recent years, and Leonardo Benucci wears the armband. It's an all Syria affair in China this evening. Daka, fascinating battle in their last game of this tournament. Perisic. In Chelsea never looked back. They were absolutely incredible. In stark contrast, Sari started so well. Tweedy play on, says the referee. Matuidi will be on the overlap for Ronaldo, who fires it down the throat of Handanovic. How often have we seen Ronaldo on that left wing position, cutting inside, driving it the goal and then taking aim? These stories. Here goes Sensi, by the way, as he moves beyond Pjanic. Brilliant individual work. And that wasn't too far away from the Italian international. So positive. Forced a turnover. We saw that in the Tottenham game and drives at the heart. Since he swings it in towards the near post, and Chesney had to tip that over. That was creeping under the bar. He made his mind up, was going hard across the face of that near post. A bit too hot. In by Dalbert. Will it fall kindly for Inter? And the driven in effort eventually comes in from Esposito. On by Gonzalo Higuain, tries to feed Bernadeschi, but tidied up by Milan Skriniar. We fully expect him to go straight into the team when he's fit and ready. But there's no doubt the very fact that he's been so consistent throughout pre-season in terms of people being selected is because he needs to get a base, he needs to get an understanding of who he can trust, who can execute what he wants, be competitive, no doubt. As we're aware that fitness levels are still not where they want to be, but both managers... Yeah, uh, whenever Lugano, before they arrived in Asia, he takes this corner, good one, two, goal. And it may well be an own goal, Inter players are celebrating. And they have taken the lead here. Matthias De Ligt was one of those in the middle trying to deal with the ball in. But the flick on at the near post has led to the opening goal and it goes the way of Inter from a set piece, no less. Kiss of death from me, I couldn't understand why Inter were looking to cross it every opportunity. But who knows this Juve team better than Antonio Conte? They've done it all the time, a set... His teammates having to defend here as it's clipped in by Candreva to the back post. Esposito, who's the uh, young striker up front, wearing no recovery. And you can understand that, you want to keep him fresh for attacking, but I don't think in the modern day football now against elite level development would be best served playing for someone. In by Talbot Enrique in towards uh, Esposito. The free kick has been given. Well, Matisse De Ligt actually had a touch of a tough time against uh, Tottenham Hotspur when he came on, didn't look in time. Makeshift striker as he's playing here, tries to win the ball, runs through to Rabio. They couldn't get a foothold in the game, could they, against Manchester United to try and move that defensive unit of Juventus. Chance here again! Off. And uh, that was an opportunity for D'Ambrosio around the back post for Inter Milan. He had a headed chance similar to that against Manchester United, uh, but doesn't take this one either. Inter looking to hit Juve on the counter here, Perisic has got fortunate, it's worked out for him here. Still Perisic, but his pass... Listen, his philosophy creates chances for that centre there's no doubt about it. In by Benedeschi this time, straight into Handanovic, who hasn't really... This is where Perisic wants to be, really, on the wing, on the left wing here for Inter. Drops out to this position, Benedeschi, Iguain, Ronaldo, just slightly stumbling. Uh, Here's Ronaldo. Gagliardini, I think he won the ball fairly. Ah, free kick. Maybe he got the man first. I don't know, I think he got the ball. Although he's... Benucci dropping back and into an onside position. Iguain at the back post, tried to work it. Belts it into the back of uh, former Inter player in Leonardo Benucci for a corner. South have to be better now, this corner. Adjustments in terms of reading any runs from deep. See the skill of Ronaldo here. Look at the no ice pass, this little flick there. Great fit. This is really is a true. There's five at the back there. The midfield three. It's congested. They find it difficult to play through Juventus. Benedeschi. Wasn't ready, Ronaldo, was he? Not, it's unlike. The manager is not really the big decision maker. This is a chance. Ronaldo. 
He got up and he couldn't stay there. We've seen Ronaldo so often he's able to get up, hang Michael Jordan style on him. Ronaldo and Iguain, the scorers in the 3-2 loss. Tim. Esposito drills for Cole. Did sorry and how he wants to play. And he's executed a really good game plan. It's nicely senti. And he finds Perisic and he looked to get it back and he's lost track of the ball. Marcelo, listen, you must block that person who runs across you to allow me to go and head in. Iguain does just that. Out from the back. Can Traver. Excitable run there from uh, Cantreva, and it's a shame about the extra. Cantreva swings it into the middle, and uh, Wojciech Szczesny appeared confident that that was always going to sweep wide of his post. He'd actually love to see it back through Benucci, Chiellini, and Delict, and I'm sure Max Allegri would have tried it. He managed to get past Conte. His lack of athleticism, Jozinho. Frustrated. Looks like he gets a blow into his glute there. Two strong challenges. Just expect it. Just hands there awkwardly. That's a painful one. Straight into Milan. Looking to take on Matthias Delict. Good defending. Good defending. It was 1v1, waiting for support to come. Initially, Perisic drives at him. You're reluctant to let him chop into. Cancelo. And it's a foul by Iguain. I think Antonio Conte, look, you'll know they're going to have better attackers available to them soon. Otero Martinez uh, was involved with Argentina at the Copa America. Well, in the end, since he was in space, Brozovic will try and do something with the uh, loose one, and he does sting them. Back to Handanovic, who plays that beautifully, and here for Perisic, Juve's free kick has come to nothing. And Ivan Perisic goes near post. Brozovic around the corner and uh, too much pace on that for Esposito. Adrian Rabio. Mandzukic. Ronaldo's in the middle. Bernadeschi. Good perseverance here from the former Fiorentina player and he asked the question. It's dangerous now. Buffon in goal now for Juve and he has to make his uh, first save since being introduced at half time for Wojciech Krzyzewski. Makes it look so comfortable. Stance. Ronaldo straight into the wall. Matuidi drives it. Great block by Kandreva. Mario Mandzukic. Ronaldo and Rabio combining. It's still Rabio for Juve. And parried away by Padelli. Great play driving from that midfield area. Passed it, followed, took the risk. The ball back. You felt he could have hit that early. Such was the good layoff. Settles it here. Can he hit it? An extra physicality in the middle as well. And sure enough, here he is having won it. about the very fact this is a pre-season game as such but no love lost between these two you've got to be careful all season or potentially another one at Juventus must be delighted Bernadeschi great running here they can't lay a glove on him and that famous in the Milan centre off Bagomi really <laughs> aggressive front foot defender way near post by Perisic getting back defending Bernadeschi Swept in brilliantly, and Mandzukic is there. Just couldn't get enough. You have to give those decisions. Ronaldo, and he worked the angle out of absolutely nothing. Battered away by the goalkeeper for another Juventus corner. But that was old school Ronaldo. Just to feed him, and those two interchange it well. Ivan Perisic, great area here for Inter Milan, and Demiral with a thumping tackle showing what he can do. Great recovery. Perisic got in store for us Cristiano Ronaldo attempt two and this time he scored via deflection got a goal against Spurs in their last game of the International Champions Cup but it flew beyond the helpless goalkeeper and Juventus midway through the second half have got level against Inter the fans that's why they're here to see that man to produce something special you talked about a deflection yes how many times have we seen him in that situation, standing over it with that trademark stance? And then just seconds later, that ball's in the net. Ronaldo gets it from Rabio. He's around the goalkeeper. Oh, Brilliant good recovery tackle. challenge. And Padelli, out of nowhere, manages to get back. 
<laughs> then drops the ball. But it was a good piece of goalkeeping having been rounded by Ronaldo. And you wonder, a few years ago, Ronaldo... Juventus and Inter's players after their one on draw now work out who will step up. player can strike the ball sweetly and he does so here to pick it with his penalty kick that's more like it right into the uh, Ronaldo free kick and he could do little about the penalty Juve two into one two kicks each never felt in doubt did it so far never looked convincing there and Buffon packed it onto the post Emre Chan when he bamboos at the goalkeeper, and the Portuguese international can do. Just gets it beyond Buffon, who's... ...fielder will take on an Italian footballing legend. And he just about beats him is up for this one. Bernardeschi to win it for Juve. Oh, he's hit the bar. We're still going to keep going. Full pass through the ball. Can he pass it beyond Buffon? No. For Juventus. Oh, he's done it. He gets it beyond the goalkeeper. And the new centre-back for Juve has won the match.